Hello and welcome to another video from Good Morning Vietnam! God damn! Yes, welcome to another video from Rising Storm Vietnam. In this video, I'm going to be looking at all the currently released media, looking at smoke grenades, ragdolls, uh, backblast, and things like that, because a lot of it seems to be spread all over the place, and a lot of the content is not actually on the official website. So I've been through, done all the hard work for you, and I've tried to find as much video content as I can. Unfortunately, a lot of the videos don't have any audio that were released. They were released as GIFs and things like that. So I'll put a little bit of a little bit of music underneath, and we can jump in and have a look at what could be a classic first-person shooter, or it could be an absolute turd, because I am really... Uh, the turd is balancing on the barbed wire fence at the minute. And we'll go through and have a look at some of the videos. I'll play them once through for you, and then we'll go through and have a look at some finer details that we may not have noticed in each one of the videos. So, let's get going, Vietnam, boys! Let's jump in before we get taken out by some Wily Pete. So the first one we're going to be looking at is Gore and Dismemberment. I don't know if any of you remember Soldier of Fortune. You could literally split heads open and see guts and everything. This is going back a little bit, I'm showing my age, you know. So as you can see, there is Gore on screen. There is Dismemberment. I think it's something we've always been wanting in games, just to add that extra visceral experience. And we don't get it in squad, but as you can see as we run up here, let's pause it a little bit. So it looks like heads and limbs are already off, and this blast here is huge coming off here. No head, no arms, no legs. I don't know whether they're actually in the bushes or where they are, and as we... You can see it, the textures look very low res here. This is one thing that really does worry me. It looks almost consoleified. I mean, it really is quite bad on that aspect. Have a look at it in slow motion. I don't know whether this is actually bringing anything to the game. It actually looks a little bit comedy, if you ask me. Um, let's just rewind that a little bit and see what we can see, what actually hits him here. Massive actual burst there and something obviously flying in here from the left we can move it back a little bit and there we can see there is actually a missile or a protrusion here i don't know what that actually is won't be a he round would it um and as we can see here running up over the top straight into the path of a 50 cal or it could be a dushka can't quite make out from here a little bit of blood splatter here i know it's quite hard to tell with the resolution being quite low on these um on these animated gifs but we do get an idea of what's actually going on here we can see the shells coming off the uh, dush girl of 50 cal there and again looks quite low res looks like he's lost both legs is it there from the knees downwards so wheelchair job and he looks like he had a two or three launcher now that just looks a little bit comedy to me look at that it's like cut it with a pair of scissors but I suppose if when these animations are really quick, I, I don't think it's really going to matter. And, uh, you know, for all you gore fans out there, it's we've got it. You know, there are not many games where we actually get gore and dismemberment now. You know, we live in a cotton wool world, you know, social justice warriors. Oh, I've been triggered. Oh, crush your grip. And all that garbage. Right, so let's jump in to the next one. The sniper rifle. I hate these bastards. They ruin every single game. You get into a good firefight and a pussy sniper just oh, does my head in. But as you can see, I really am not sure about these sights and scopes here. Um, iron sight, yeah, love it. What's more concerning to me is the quality of some of the graphics here. Let's just... Hmm, up here... We do seem to have a slight depth of field effect, which is quite nice. Anything we can do to make it more difficult for the sniper is is perfect for me. I'm all for that. Iron sights all the way. But what's have you noticed what is going on here with these wheels? It won't be any ice cream left in that thing. Or rice or noodles, whatever you would put in there. That is terrible. That really is a slight concern at this stage. Um... Because as we know, most things in betas and alphas, they call it that. Things never change in the final product. So again, these textures down here look very low res. But we shall see when the actual game comes out. Let's not judge it too early. 
M37 Ithka shotgun with a pistol grip. Not a lot to say about this. A lot of people do like their shotguns. Um, not a fan, personally, but there you go. I do notice the guy running towards us. The running animation looks slightly weird. That may just be... That may just be me. Blast, blast, blast. Something just looks a little bit weird about that to me. But it is what it is, and that is the shotgun. Next up, we have the RPG-7 Bat Blast effect, which is really quite nice. Not sure about the actual effect on uh, the guy getting blown to pieces. Seems a little bit comedy to me, but I, I don't know. Obviously, we haven't got this in squad. I mean, the actual body parts coming off, etc., etc. But um, what's interesting is, as this Bat Blast actually kills this dude here, boom. If we'll pause it there. We do have this strange smoke blast up here. I'm not quite sure what that is. And um, this seems quite comedy with the cutout with the scissors again. But what we have, can notice is there is actually burnt skin here. His skin is all burnt along this arm, including this stump, which I think is going to be his other arm. I don't know where his head is. Completely gone. Uh, legs have come off as well, which is... Feet, should I say. I don't know why his feet would come off. Um... These trees look really quite nice. A little bit like Crytek Engine with um, the game. The game passes me by right now, but I think you know which one I'm talking about. Uh, again, these textures here, it doesn't... It just looks like a console game to me. Like it's... Something just doesn't quite feel right. And that's the same with uh, the current game as well. So now we're looking at ragdoll physics, which is not easy for any game. It either looks too comedy or they just look like they've got rigor mortis the second they actually get shot. And while this is a great improvement on quite a lot of games that I've seen, it does, to me, make them look as though they're a little bit rubbery. Maybe we're asking too much, I don't know, but just see what you think about this. They do look a little bit rubbery to me, like every bone in the body has just been broken. Um... Again, I'm sure as we get in game and we look at some some more of this, it'll either be, yeah, this looks great, it works, it's fantastic. I mean, why didn't he lose any limbs on that one? Uh, but that's the ragdoll physics. Next up, we have the M8 smoke grenade, which looks really quite effective actually on this video. As you can see, as this guy runs up into the smoke, completely disappears in here. There's there's no. No opportunity to see a silhouette or anybody in here, so that's quite a good thing. Whether it's... I'm just looking at these textures again here. The trees look nice. It's something... It's kind of the same with the, the current uh, the current game to me. The graphics look very dated. Even, I mean, even on the weapons and things, it looks like it's not quite there. You know, almost like you want to triple the resolution or something like that. So no visibility, if I can say, in the smoke whatsoever. A little bit up here, which is great, as the smoke is moving from the bottom to the top right. As we can see, as he throws it there. Now, he's, I'm looking at the, the, the actual... You can see the casings here as he's firing. The trousers here are really nicely detailed. Really nice on here, the folds and everything on here. But things up here just look smushy and stretched low res like it's not quite right. And so, I mean, this thing here looks like it's just a texture rather than an actual model. And this just looks like something out of Far Cry five years ago to me. It, some, it just doesn't look like it's a next-gen game. Texture's low res. And don't tell me it's going to change because this is alpha. Things never change. Come on, they don't. Tiny thumb, massive hand. <laughs> Things never change. They never do. I've never seen a game where anything's changed from beta or alpha. So, as we throw it out, yeah, quite nice. I like the look of this open open area as we're running across the paddy fields. Reminds me a little bit of Project Reality. So, yeah, quite effective, quite like in the smokes. MD82 Mines, or the Toe Clippers, I think they were called. Literally, they would take your foot clean off, or certainly you would lose your big toes. I'm joking, you lose most of your foot. So you can see, it looks like the interesting thing about this is this is going to add a whole new aspect to infantry because once these are actually placed, if you place them close enough, they will actually trigger each other even from one detonation. So if you're moving up in a horizontal line, let's just pause this a second, if you're moving up from my position straight across into this, strange little blood puff there, 
it will actually take out the whole infantry going in this line. So form, you know, line formation. You're gonna have to pick your formations quite, quite, quite decisively actually when you're moving through if there's a certain map. Because at the minute we don't actually know how many maps we're gonna be getting. So next up we have Wily Pete, which is everybody's favourite, I think. Yeah, the white phosphorus grenade. And as we throw that in, we're going to get to see, as you've seen in the trailer, the amazing sort of blast out of all these particles and white phosphorus, which is actually, if you didn't know, it burns hotter than the surface of the sun. So it will burn through pretty much anything. Now, what's interesting, this is the girliest throw I have ever seen. Talk about limp wrist. Watch this for a throw. And it actually looks like it disappeared when it hit the ground. Or did it actually land in that unfinished Hesco bag? No, I think let's just play it again with a limp wrist. Ooh, take this, boys! Right, because it disappears. Interesting. And then we get the boom. And as you can see, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And the bodies do actually burn, and it looks like they will actually burn for quite a while. Screaming in agony! So if you're into all that sort of stuff. We've now got it in-game. Next up, we have C4. Everybody's favourite for Jihad, blowing up vehicles and blowing up infantry. Well, here we go. So let's have a look at the C4. And a couple of things I noticed instantly, I thought, this isn't quite right. So, yeah, very effective. Now, if we actually look at the writing on this, you can see here tells us bloody dee dilly do dilly do and yet when we squirt it on here the writing is completely fucked up alpha beta i know i know but anyway it's these little things that just stick out and this tree very low res we don't need to talk about that anymore so in theory once we press this button this entire little shitty shacky prostitutes little sucky ten dollar hut should disappear as you can see this is the formation here of this bamboo hut infantry coming round come on lads here we go boom so we've got quite a large i'm gonna say mushroom cloud but you know what i mean quite a large blast radius here with particles and let's just let that die down a little bit and have a look and we have absolutely zero damage to anything. It, you, no fire, no nothing, no crater, no burn marks, n nothing, which... That's a real shame, isn't it? In 2016, they can't add these features in that we had in Battlefield Bad Company years ago. Even though I know it's a different engine, but even so, it just seems a little bit lazy to me. So our next video is going to give you an idea of some of the sights for the marksman, the designated marksman or the sniper class. And it's something that I'm not keen on, if I'm honest. I think it's the way the inner iris moves left and right as we move the sight line. It just doesn't, just does, this just does not seem right to me at all. In fact, I'll say that's god awful. I mean, a slight bit of square, but surely this amount of movement in the centre iris. I, I'm sure they've done it for a reason to probably make it a little bit harder for this class, but that just seems, that doesn't seem right to me. I've done 2-2 competition shooting in both uh, bullets and uh, pellets using high powered sights and it certainly never did that for me when I looked down it. So again, while we're actually on this screen, you can see that the resolution on the actual weapon is really low res. And this is not actually due to the animated GIF that we're looking at, looking at actual screenshots in game. Everything looks very dated to me. It's hard to put my finger on. I'm sure this game will be chalk and cheese, pretty much like the other two games where you're either going to like it or you're not. For me, the first one seemed, the, the movement just doesn't seem right. It feels very, very strange. And even the, the actual second second game, uh, Rising Storm, was it, uh, with the flamethrowers and everything, it, for me, it was just the actual environment, the graphics and the levels, the just the quality of graphics is just not there for me. And I know you're gonna say, well, it's all about gameplay over graphics. I mean, I enjoy Project Reality. That's was what, nearly 16 years old, is it now? Or 10 years old? And a gameplay is absolutely brilliant. But I just think if you're gonna bring a game out in 2016, you, you better bring it. And while some of these, this video on screen, I can tell immediately is CG. This is not in game at all. Um, 
it does worry me slightly, but I will be covering the game. I will, I have, should be getting a beta key at some point, so I will be covering the game. But at the minute, I really am on the fence about this. It could be brilliant, it could be bad. I know there are other developers helping them this time around, and the addition of helicopters and things like that, but they need to bring their A game because you can play Vietnam in Project Reality and Armour 3, so they really do need to make this stand out. And I'd be interested to know what you guys think. Let me know. I've been Paraplays, and this has been Vietnam. Empty that latrine, boys! This is my rifle. It belongs to me, you hear me? <laughs>